this is your call to action. Just right now, just hit that, that red button down there that says subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified of uh, all my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday around 3 o'clock. We try to keep it light and have fun here. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be planting a tree and then looking in on some bees. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is take a moment to thank each and every one of you who sent in a channel recommendation. Um, my TV viewing list is full now. Now, I'm not going to stay subscribed to all of them. I have subscribed to each one of them, but I'm going to go through the list and watch them. And if I like them, I'll keep them. If I don't, I'll clear my list out. And uh, I should have a lot of TV to get me until next year. So, with all that said, what we are going to do today is we are going to replace the apple tree that the beaver chewed up on Christmas Eve Eve and drug into the lake. Uh, and then we are going to go up the street to the pine slash teal hive. That's one hive up the street now um, and remove a bucket feeder. Yeah, I left the bucket feeder on that hive and it's not like leaving a bucket feeder on these. These hives are heated. They've been trying to keep an ice cube warm for who knows how long. I drove by the other day after I removed the, uh, the orange and the blue hives buckets and realized that I still had a bucket on that hive up there that is not good so I don't know whether we're going to find any bees up there or not I don't know what kind of mess I've created but hopefully I can find some bees and I hope they're alive and I hope I can save them so we will do that today it's uh, currently 50 degrees outside windy and it feels like uh, 34 so I apologize in advance if there's a lot of wind I've tried to talk in between wind gusts but it has been bursting from three miles an hour to 13 so there you have it. So with all that said, let's jump down here, plant a tree, and then we'll jump up the street and look in on some bees. Here's our new tree. Let me get a couple of bags of dirt. We'll get this hole dug, get this thing taken care of. All right, there's one bag of dirt. We dig this out. It is so cold out here. I can't believe bees are flying. It's 47, 48 degrees. So, I looked on my weather station, and even though it's 47 degrees, high of 50 today, with the wind and the humidity, it feels like, what they say, 34? It's cold out here. But, this is the time to plant a tree. It looks like it's going to have some, some blooms on it this year. I don't think it's going to make apples, but it may, uh, Help my Fuji apple tree right there to, to give me some apples this year. It's the root ball from my last tree. I love that tree. You live on a lake where there are beavers and your trees are not safe. Now I haven't seen a beaver on this lake for 10 years, but I guess it was still there. Oh. Before I go, that beaver made quick work of that tree. Anyways, let's go, let's go look at the bees. All right, well, here we are at the pine slash teal hive. Now, this is kind of a combination. We mashed them together last year because the pine hive absconded. That was my strongest hive here, and it disappeared. 
and this hive was was packed with bees so they may have just left there and come in here anyways after last week when we removed the bucket feeder from the orange and the blue hive i remembered that i still had a bucket feeder on this hive now that's not a problem down there at the other bee yard because those are heated beehives the bees don't have to generate their own heat here it's a problem because they have to generate their heat and then they also have to heat this cavity which I hope has an empty bucket in there and not a bucket filled with sugar syrup that never got drained, which means they probably have a giant ice cube up on top of their hive. So with all that said, let's uh, let's dive in here and cross our fingers and hope that they're alive because there's, again, no no activity at all on the landing board. Let's, uh, let's open this up and see how these girls are doing. <laughs> let's open this up and see if these girls are there. Let's see if they survived. Yeah, I don't see any cockroaches running around. That's usually what I see when I open up this uh, this hive. Now, I did pack this. Okay, I don't see anything happening there. I did insulate this hive. It looks like the bees chewed into that. <gasps> I have bees! Okay, they're in here. Let's, uh... Take this off. I see a couple of hive beetles. Oh, and they're alive. How's that possible? Now they're dead. Okay. Um, let me light my smoker. Okay, we don't want to be in here too long. We do want to let them know we're coming. hope okay there's a little bit of a little bit of feet up in there all right girls all right ladies hello 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 we're just gonna have a quick look and then we'll be out of here Quick look. All right. So I've got, these are all filled with capped nectar. I've got bees on these three. The cluster is right here. I really don't want to, I don't want to break the cluster apart. Let's see if I can just uh, pull out a couple of frames on the side and look down and see if the cluster extends down to the bottom. And that is a full frame. There is a dead hive beetle right there. I'm hoping it's dead. If it's not, it is now. Okay. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove the ape of our strip as well. Don't sting my hands, girls. I did not bring. I did not bring any gloves. Oh, there's a hive beetle. Okay. Hi, folks. All right, well, there you go. There's a very small cluster in here. And some brood they're trying to keep warm. I don't see anything on the bottom. There's some more girls there. I do not see a queen. I do see some eggs. Oh, there's some more brood right there. I'm gonna go ahead and close these girls up. We know that we have an active queen in here. They have resources. They are up top. Actually, they don't even need any more pollen, but they've got it. Okay. Oh, well, there are some down on the bottom, too. There's a few down there. I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, we're going to put this back together. No need to have this open. All right, I will give them a pollen patty. 
There you go. Here's something to chew on. I'll kind of break it up here. Some there, some here, some right there. There you go. <clears throat> Kind of push that pollen patty down into the frames. Okay, now let me tape this up before we go any further. Well, I'm very, very happy. I have a very small cluster in there. They've got plenty of resources. It's just a matter of keeping them warm until spring. I mean, there's a, there's a few bees on the bottom, but most of them are up here in the top. This is where the food is. Heat rises. Um, they're choked off. They do have their board in. Let's just uh, let's have a quick look at the mite board and just see if this thing is... Uh... Oh, look at this. Okay, so not only do we have mites on here, we have a ton of dead hive beetles and ants. I don't have the ant blocks on here. Three, four, five. I mean, we have a bunch of dead hive beetles. Look at that. Unbelievable. And there are some Varroa on here too. So those, those mite strips work. All right, um, let's button these drills up. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. We started this adventure digging a hole by a lake and planting a tree that a beaver ate, and we finished going through a hive that that I'd neglected in 2021. Um, I did realize after uh, last week when I removed those buckets from uh, orange and blue, that I still had a bucket up here on this hive and that's not good because this hive's not heated. Um, so these girls were in peril. Now, I came up here expecting to see a, a, a dead hive. Um, I'm fortunate there is a, a cluster in there. It's about the size of a saucer and it's over three frames. So I think they have an, an, enough uh, bees and enough brood in there to get them through till spring. I gave them a pollen patty so everything should be okay. We did break their hive down a little bit. All the entrances are taped. It's very airtight uh, to keep the cold breeze out of there. So I think they're gonna be fine. Um, also, I did order some wood. Now, I don't know whether it's going to be here during this week or next week. I have to check the delivery date from Lowe's, but hopefully the next video or the video after that, we can get in the shop and start building some projects over this winter because it's too hard to open up beehives in the winter. I really don't want to get into the beehives unless I have to. Um, so we will be doing some shop project, bee related, of course, um, but that's only if my wood shows up. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is your call to action. Just right now, just hit that, that red button down there that says subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified of uh, all my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday around three o'clock. We try to keep it light and have fun here. So with all that said, thanks for watching. Be happy, stay warm, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.